So you're going to bring the piece in and you're going to go ahead and select it and ungroup it because we need to do the score lines. So once it's ungrouped, just go ahead and select the score lines. So I'm just holding down the shift key and selecting each one. And then I'll go ahead and turn them into score lines by going up to the upper left corner, picking the line type and hitting score. And that will change them into dashed lines, as you can see here. So then you'll just select them. And we're going to attach them to the piece that we want them on. So I'm going to go ahead and move this stuff out of the way. Make sure I'm in the right spot. So I did notice there was an extra line, so I'm just going to delete it. Just making sure it's the right line that I'm going to delete. Okay, so now everything's scored and in the right places. So I'm going to go ahead and select everything on the blue one first, the big blue one first. I'm just dragging the mouse and holding it down and selecting those pieces and then I'll just go ahead and attach them in the lower right corner. And you can see on the right it shows that those pieces are all attached now. And so I'll do it for this little piece right here. I'll let those two get attached. And don't worry, the stuff that was there is just behind this because what happens is when you're working on something it brings it to the front and puts it up at the top on the right in the column. So you can see it's still there. So I'm going to go ahead and select these and attach. So the file has everything you need for this gift card. It has the back, the front of the little gift card that will sit on top, the little labels that you can put wherever you want, that the pieces that fold over on those two sections will join together and the gift card will go will be, be squished inside of it and you'll see that in uh, later in the video. And then there's just pieces, um, extra pieces that you can use to write on or do whatever you want on. Um, pieces that will go on the front and the back and then they have the snowflake design and just to let you know, the snowflake does have all those cutouts, so you may not want to cut out the other ones. It's up, totally up to you. So then when you're done, you just go ahead and select Make It. And I always check my mats to be sure. So I'll look at each mat and make sure that everything's where I need it. And you know, sometimes when you're looking at this, it's it's doing it for a 12 by 12 piece of paper, but if you can fit it on an eight and a half by 11 and you have that card stock available or scraps or anything like that, you can certainly move those pieces around to match what, the, what your paper is gonna be on your mat. And then you're just gonna go ahead and select your machine and then it will populate the um, materials for you to choose. I went ahead and I used medium cardstock and I left it at default pressure and used the fine point, fine point blade. So let's get cutting. So just score where or bend over where everything is scored. You're going to attach this to this. For the gift card and then sandwich it in between here like that so that when you open the card it will pop open now you've got a lot of places you can decorate here 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 and here so you have to decide which one you want to be the front so this is going to fold over that's going to fold down so is that the front or is that the front 
or however you want to do it. But I did cut an extra piece. I cut an extra piece so that I could cut cover one of the sides with it. Um, you know, so whatever, however you want to do it. I did attach these all together. Um, I had already put on a blue piece of paper, so I um, just am going to attach it to this one here. Um, I did this in a previous video and then I changed the design so that it would work better um, with this project. So that's why that is that way. I'm going to go ahead and attach that. I'm just going to use double-sided tape. I'm using this double-sided tape. So I'm doing it off, off camera right here. Um, I don't want you to get confused by the different layers, but you just attach the snowflake to the blue, the red, and then the white, and then it's just the white gets attached to the front of the card or the back of the card or whatever side of the card you want to call the front, like that. Okay. All right, and then what you're gonna do on the inside here, you can use this to go here on the inside there. You can put the snowflake inside here as well, a little bit much, so I'm just gonna do that. And I'm gonna attach it with two-sided tape and then put it on the card here in the middle-ish. And then another piece on here for the white. On top of there. Okay, so that's my inside and that's where I'll be writing on. I have the little um, snowflakes here. I'm going to just use some tacky glue to um, put them on as decoration. So I'm just going to Add a little glue to the sides like that. Stick that on. A little more glue on this guy. And then just offset that snowflake. And then lastly, I'm going to use this little um, dotty guy. And I'm just going to put little dots of glue all around those and in the middle. And then just stick this guy on top of that guy. I have a cute little decoration. And then I can write on here. So in between here now, um, you can glue, you can do whatever you want. Hopefully I made these big enough so that you can attach this. I'm going to use the double-sided tape. I'm going to cut this in half right there, and then I'm going to attach it on here so that it'll attach to there. I think I cut that a little bit too long, so I need to cut that little piece off. I'm gonna use that for something else later. Um, I know I'm gonna need to cut this side off too, so I'll just go ahead and cut it. And attach it to this side. Okay, I didn't get that on there very well. All right, right there, right there. Okay, and then I'm going to attach it to this guy. So I'm just going to take one side at a time and put the corners together. Attach it and then I'll just fold this side back and it should line up pretty well. Okay. All right. Now this is going to go inside of here and be sandwiched in. Now you don't want the, um, the card to fall through there. So I'm just going to go ahead and take some sticky tape. The length of it. And I'm going to do on both sides. I think I'm going to take this off first and then fold it over. Okay, 
and that'll give it a good sticky spot to stick inside of here as well. But before I do that, I'm going to add some sticky tape across the, this. I think this is probably a little too wide still. Yep. So I'm just going to cut this, cut a little bit. You can use glue um, or, or you can use the roller tape. It's probably a little bit um, thinner. I'm using this, it's a little bit stronger, and it was handy. So I'm just gonna stick that on the bottom, right there. And then I will sandwich this. Now this has the state tape on this side, so it's gonna to hold to that really well. Make sure that this is lined up really well. Stick this guy in the middle where you want it, and then just Carefully squeeze it together so it all lines up really well. And run your fingernails across it. All right, so there I have my inside of my card and it's nice that it'll pop up when you open it. So the card will be right there. I mean, the gift card will be right there. And with the extra pieces of the snowflakes, you can just um, put some designs or obviously you can put stickers or just write up there. Um, it's a nice blank space if you need to write more words. That cute little snowflake there won't hurt either. Okay, get it all glued down. Really cute. Okay, now, so we have this side, which um, I'm going to put a sticker here for Merry Christmas, and then you have this side. So I have the extra piece that I cut. I could do that on this side as well. I think that's kind of pretty. Makes for a nice card. Or you could just use some of the extra snowflakes on this side as well. Be kind of cute too. Lay them off a little bit. Maybe like that or something like that. Any way you want to do it works great. You could also use this on the inside of here. Make that pretty. It's pretty too. So there's lots of ways you can decorate the card and then I would just use a little sticker here to keep it cut um, closed and then you have a nice gift card holder for someone. Um, there is a little piece in the in the design too if you want to cut out a little um, the little piece that goes right there and um, put on on maybe what the denomination is, or a little saying, or something, um, whatever, whatever you decide to do, and that's it.